I also work with chronic illness, so I see people who have got things like ME and um, anything that, that involves pain. I find that a lot of it actually comes from emotional suppression. When we're really, really angry with somebody but we don't feel for whatever reason that we can express that, that emotion doesn't go away. It sits in our body. Now where it sits in our body is very personal to us. But what happens is when that emotion sits in our body, it then creates illness. And this is a theory that is now being looked into more and more and it's far more widely known and so there are more techniques being used to help with this. Um, interestingly, a nurse who, I, who a client who was a nurse once actually when we were talking about this, she actually said, oh yes, when we get patients in we ask what their life was like six months ago. So I found that really interesting that, that even in hospitals now they're starting to recognise uh, the connection between emotions and, and physical pain and physical illness. I know for some people what happens is when they suppress anger then it can go down into their stomach area, they, it can go down into this area. This seems to be where most of us suppress our anger. So we can get uh, digestive problems, um, we can get um, all sorts of problems with our stomach, we can get um, all sorts of problems with areas that we don't necessarily want to be going to the doctor about. You know, not everybody goes along with IBS, they just think, oh, well, that's something I've got. Um, hypnotherapy's actually been recognised as one of the top ways of dealing with IBS now. So I find that really interesting, uh, that now it's getting to the point where hypnotherapy is being recognised as being able to help physical problems. I find that really good. That's, it, it helps people, they can come along and we can deal with everything that's been going on for them. And people do find that the IBS certainly can be dealt with in a few sessions. I had a girl come to me with IBS once actually. Um, bless her, she couldn't actually get out of the house. She was actually, she had to be near the loo all the time. That, that's the state she was in. Um, and so a couple of sessions I actually went to her home. But then we got to the point where she was actually able to come to my clinic, so, so she came along. And I think we had about 10 sessions. And within those 10 sessions, by the end of it, she actually went away on holiday to Spain with her partner. And I find that amazing. I find, you know, 10, 10 I think it was probably over about three months that it took us. Um, but she found some amazing memories that came up that she didn't even know she had because she'd suppressed those memories. And so that anger and the fear that she'd been suppressing had actually turned to IBS. Um, anyway, she had a nice holiday. I once had a client who came to me for weight loss and she came and she said, I need to lose some weight. But as I talked to her, I realised that actually the reason she couldn't lose any weight um, was because she was eating to suppress all the anger uh, that she had with her divorce. She'd actually got divorced a year before and because she was having to hold all that anger down because she was a really good mum and she was absolutely doing her best not to let the anger go over to her children who were who were under 10 so she was she was being absolutely brilliant and she she was doing her best not to show her anger towards their father but what she was doing is she was eating to suppress it so every time she got angry with him she'd go and eat chocolate cake so by the time she got to see me, she was about a size 18 and I think she'd, she'd been about a 10 when she got married. Um, and what we did is we then discovered why she was eating because of course, and, you know, it's easy for me to tell you that that's why she was eating. But I only know that in hindsight because at the time when she came to me, she didn't realise that the anger she had, she hadn't been able to let go. And so what I did was I helped her let go of the anger and help her just let go of the past really so she could move on and yeah she got back down to a size 12 so we did okay with that so yeah good I'm pleased for her